Hey guys, welcome back to the Prim and Proper channel. We are back in the kitchen and today I'm going to share with you all a very simple way you can make fish gravy or fish stew. So here is the fish that I will be using. I am using croca that I've already seasoned. If you want to know how I season my fish, there is a video on this channel that shows you how to season your fish. I also have some flour here that I will be using to fry my fish. Here is some blended items. It's red onions, ginger, garlic, and pepper. Here is some tomato paste. I'm using three large onions, one red one and two white ones, some green peppers and some carrots. Here is my homemade tomato sauce. I have a video on this channel that shows you how you can make your own tomato sauce at home. It's very tasty. It's very healthy. Here is my seasoning. I have some allspice, about a teaspoon, and my shrimp flavored seasoning that I will be using. You will also need some oil and of course some salt to taste. So in my previous video where I showed you how to season and fry your fish, I actually coated my fish in the flour. And so I dipped the fish in the flour before frying it. But this time, I don't want too much flour on my fish because I'm going to put it in my stew. I'm actually putting about a tablespoon or so of flour inside the oil before I fry it. And this is going to help the fish not to tear up during the frying process. And don't forget that you always have to make sure that your oil is very hot enough so that your fish doesn't soak up the oil while it's being fried. When I'm frying fish or other types of meats, I sometimes put in my oil things like onions or garlic or bay leaves to give my oil some flavor. And so if you've never tried any of these items in your oil, when you're frying meats, you should try it. It really gives your oil a lot of flavor. Now that the fish is all done, let's go ahead and start making our gravy. Because I wanted to use the same oil that I used to fry the fish to make my stew, I of course had to wait to finish frying my fish before I start my stew. But if that's not what you're planning to do, you can do both at the same time. So I've put a teaspoon of my allspice seasoning into my oil and just stirred it up like so. Next, I'm going to put in all of my sliced onions and I'm going to lower the heat to medium so that the onions really fry at a very medium um, heat. I do not want it to burn or also to get too caramelized. And so medium to low is good when you put your onions in the oil. So after frying your onions for about five minutes, you can go ahead and put in your blended items. Again, this is about one large onion with some garlic and some ginger and some hot peppers of your choice. I usually also will add my shrimp um, flavored seasoning into these items when I blend it so that everything just mixes up together very nicely. So again, I'm keeping my heat at medium and I'm just going to let the blended onions and other items um, fry for five to 10 minutes. Next, I'm going to add my tomato paste. This is about 18 ounces of tomato paste. I am going to stir it up and let it cook 
for at least 10 minutes before I add my homemade tomato sauce. So with the homemade tomato sauce, it's pretty much already cooked because I made it at home and because of the way that I made it. So you really don't need to cook it that much longer. So let's say after you put in your tomato sauce, maybe five to 10 minutes later, you can add in your fish. And one thing I should say about fish too is it doesn't like a lot of oil. So be careful about how much oil you're using. Normally, you can have your fish in a separate bowl and just like scoop up your gravy and add it on your fish because you don't want too much stew around your fish. It's really um, supposed to have more fish than stew, if that makes sense to you. So I would say that I had way more stew than I needed for the fish that I made. So we are almost done making our fish gravy. The last items that I'm going to put in my gravy are some salt to taste, as well as my vegetables, which are the sweet bell peppers and the carrots that I've chopped up. And then we are pretty much done with our stew. If you don't want your vegetables to be too crunchy in your stew, then let it cook for about five more minutes before you turn off your heat. And we are all done. A quick and simple way to make your fish gravy. You can have this with kinke, with bengkun, with rice, or other entrees of your choice. If you enjoyed watching this video and if you think this recipe will be helpful to you, why don't you give me a big thumbs up? Let me know in the comments what you think of this recipe. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you back again. Bye.